bit on the side. The show that everyone is talking about. Big oh, Brother's bit on the side. Bit on the side. Psych. Saturday is Big Brother's bit on the side. Right. Sunday is Ryland's <laughs> Super Sized Celebrity <laughs> Sunday. Body language and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, like body oh, language, yeah. Um, <laughs> dynamics, rapport, sort of the stuff that I teach. <laughs> Well, I can't wait for your expert opinion, Dexter. Uh, right, on with the show. Joining me tonight to ask the questions that no self-respecting TV presenter would dare to ask is the lovely Ian Lee. <laughs> Helping us get all psychological is the gorgeous Michelle Heaton. <laughs> Performance coach Kate Marlowe. Psychologist Dr. Funke. <laughs> now, here at Bit on the Psych, we don't just analyse housemate behaviour. Oh no, we analyse everything. Earlier this week, me and Dr. Funke investigated the housemates' new living quarters. It's time to get Funke in the house. Get it? <laughs> so, how exciting is this? Yeah, let's just soak it up for a minute. <laughs> Two days before the launch, and we're going to have a sneaky peek into the Big for the House, the actual Big for the House. Come on, come on, I'm excited. <laughs> we're finally in the Big for the House, walking down these very lovely stairs. AJ, this is amazing. I mean, we're in the Big Brother House. And I tell you what, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. The stairs are wide. It's kind of like you're making a grand entrance. <laughs> When your kitchen is amazing, I absolutely love it. I feel like I want to make the cup of fruit right now. Do you know what, AJ? This is a fantastic place to be. If you're a housemate, you're going to have that sense of paranoia. But if you're in the kitchen, you can see what's going on. You can see what's going on in the lounge. You yeah. can kind of pretend you're cooking, but also be nosy about conversations. You can actually see who's going up to the diary room. This spot is central. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, come on. There's loads to get around. It's massive. <laughs> So tell me about this dining area. <laughs> when you think that you're going to eat food and you want to feel relaxed, there's no sense of relaxation. Look yeah. at the chairs, they're yeah, so hard. Seat. I feel really let down by Big Brother. I think this is just creating a sense of you're not going to enjoy your food. I'll tell you one thing, AJ. What? Having this circular table, if you've got any enemies in the house, you can't get away from. Well, eat your grub and go. <laughs> Here we are, the car. I love it. You know when I walk out of here, from, from the inside, there's a sense of calmness here. It's greenery. And you've got the, the plants where people have to grow their own food. I think we might find a lot of the housemates out here because the chaos in there, it'll just be too much for them. Okay, now you say it feels really calm, but actually, oh, actually, I think it feels really fake. And this is horrible to sit it, on. This is really horrible. <laughs> I actually have to get up because it's so horrible. <laughs> it is and quite there's nothing cosy about it. Now don't tell me that that is an outside shower. <laughs> oh God. I'm not sure about this. I don't know how it's going to work. This is just not an area that you feel comfortable in. Yeah. Again, Big Brother making the housemates feel uneasy. So this actually powers the heat for the shower. So <laughs> unless someone stood here turning this wheel, you are having a cold shower. Big Brother's creating an environment you need to work as a team. So if you upset one housemate, don't expect them to be turning that wheel for you. So over here we've got a lovely little vegetable park. I mean, I'd expect the hot tub to be here. There is no luxury. And it's like you're going into an army. When you're coming in, you're going to learn a lot about yourself. Now, quickly, just before we go to the bedroom, what are you saying about that up there? I think that could be the spot where people can just take some time out. It's the only place that's kind of enclosed. The bedroom. It's so colourful, I love it. I mean, it does feel really cosy. AJ, there's nothing cosy about this. <laughs> this is why I'm not a psychologist. <laughs> I'll tell you something, AJ. If you think about the past, people run for the double bed, the biggest bed. If I was in this house, I would go for the single bed because I just want to have some time out from this craziness that's been created for me by Big Brother. I don't think people are going to be fighting for the double bed as we believe because it's not it? luxury and it doesn't even feel like a double bed. So I think a lot of people are just going to try and find a space where they can just reflect on what they're going through. And I think lots of people, the wise ones, should go for the single bed. And why is the vibe in the room? I hear you cry. Well, um, apparently this powers the um, electricity in the hair straighteners and the hair dryer. Who would get on the bike? You'd have someone Me. that wants to, obviously, <laughs> to kind of fancy a few of the ladies in here, wants to show off his power, oh. and he will be riding the bike. 
or you might have a lady who's a fitness fanatic or let me just I'll do you know you're gonna have people who want to gain something out of riding the bike right that's enough for that now one more place that we've not been it's the diary room I'm, I can't wait I'm excited about it. So it's upstairs. Tell me why. Do you know what, Adrian? What's really interesting about this year? The dining room used to be around the back, so you could go off in the secret. It's upstairs, so everybody can see you're going to the dining room. So you don't have any secrets. And can we get a look in? No, we can't. Flaming typical. Two days before <laughs> launch night, and the dining room is incomplete. I can't wait until it's finally finished, and then uh, and to see who's the first one in. Thanks for having us, Big Brother. Tonight, let's get cracking, Dr. Funky. My partner in crime there. Thank She's you. tiny in real life, isn't she? She was so wee in Don't real life. You start in. Not an insult. It's a, a, a fact of height. It's a fact of height. Um, uh, how does this house differ to previous houses? Well, I mean, the setup's completely different, like we've discussed in the VT. But the housemates are completely different. Yeah. This is the first time in the 14 years that Big Brother has been running that we've have a strong alpha female house. You've got, um, you've got. I'm forgetting all Sally. the names. You've got Sally, who is obviously Sally, as we can see. You've got Sophie, who's a black belt. You've got these strong, <laughs> powerful women in the house. And the men, I can't see who was an alpha male Weak in the men. House. Weak men. Weak Is that what you've... <laughs> stay, stay the on. I, I, reckon, I reckon Sam's going to kick off at some point. Really? Really? Is, that, is that the main thing you've noticed in the house in terms of behaviour? What, what other things have you spotted? Well, obviously, we've seen Sally lashing out with Gina. And I think what it is, Sally's trying to be the most dominant person in the house. And she's going about it in a way that she is being that way. And Gina comes along, ruffles a few things, forms an alliance with Woofie, which Sally thinks, well, Woofie's mine, so where are you coming here taking Woofie away from me? And that is what sparked the anger within Sally, but it's escalated into something that's not very tasteful. Fighting mm -hmm. over Woofie, eh? Who'd have thought it? I know. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> uh, Kate, what do, we, what do you expect from the new house? Um, I think... Uh, much of what Dr. Funky has said, um, the girls in there are just making so much noise, fighting, um, overwhelming everything. But they're very, very fast mm. and very stressed and very intense. So there's a, a lack at the moment of calming influence, definitely. but that is coming from Wolfie, definitely. So I think all this noise and intensity will calm down. Um, and I think Daniel is going to play a key role in that. Yeah. Of, of pacifying and calming everyone down. Oh, I, I agree. Now that we've realised that Wolfie is not, in fact, a Peter K character and is, and is, actually, is actually a real person in her own right, <laughs> I think she might <laughs> just calm things down. Michelle, you've been a housemate. Yes. How do you avoid conflict? It's, it's really difficult to avoid it mm. um, unless you're happy to just float under the radar and sometimes when you're too under the radar you get missed and before you know it you, you, you're outnumbered and you're out. Um, it, it, it's, it's, I think conflict of some sort is unavoidable, mm. especially when you've got such volatile people in there like Sally and Gina. Um, when you've got two dominant women, conflict's always going to be there. It certainly is. And in the current case, it's a case of too late. <laughs> <Let's> just... <laughs> the most underwhelming soundbite ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> no offence. Uh, let the cat fights begin. And that was just after six hours. Six hours. Uh, Michelle, are you surprised to be seeing a kickoff so early on? I, I am. I am very, very surprised that it was such a um, high intensity fight so early on. However, with somebody like Sally, that doesn't surprise me. She's all front. She's mm. all mouth. She's really boisterous, very, very volatile and very rude. But I think she's going to crack and we're going to see a vulnerable side because mm. you cannot be that distasteful all the time. I, and actually, I, think I actually yeah. think she's, she's, there's something nice about her somewhere. That's, it yeah, has yeah. to be. I'm oh, sorry, that really does. I think she's insecure, and I yeah. think the insecurities is what we're seeing that doesn't look very tasty. Normally, the first few days, first couple of weeks, Big Brother, we see the blokes fighting mm. to see who's, you know, the, the big, well, the big cock is, is the, the cock of the north. <laughs> it's a cockerel. It's a cockerel. <laughs> it's an actual <laughs> phrase. <laughs> Uh, is it, are these girls vying for the top spot? I mean, they, they are getting to the top spot because if we looked at the first few hours of Big Brother and the first launch night, I thought Callum would take on that alpha male role. He's lost. I mean, I've asked anyone, where is Callum? No one knows where Callum is. It's because these strong women have taken over. So we've got Sally. And also, don't underestimate, Sophie is the one that's going to emerge as being a very strong character. Mm. Well, I mean, Kate, we did see Dan step in to defuse the situation almost 
are we seeing an alpha male, the one strong man, the one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the thing is, uh, Daniel stepped in to, to calm everything down. He was whizzing Gina around and, 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 and just trying to talk her down, which mm. is what a lot of police do in yes. those situations. Yes. So to see that's here. the real policeman thing coming yes. through. But it's not like a proper leadership role of so. saying, right, you there, you there. There's nobody coming through with that. We've got these young girls screaming and shouting and behaving really badly. Um, and the boys are just terrified of them. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Put, the, put the girls to one side, the, the two, uh, two girls fighting yeah. girls to one side. Who else has caught your attention? The person that's caught my attention is Dexter. Is, is that mm. because he's a massive bellend? <laughs> <laughs> polite way of putting it than what you said in the dress. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you said another way. Maybe we should, maybe. I mean, on, on a serious note, with Dexter, we see the character of Dexter. On the VT, it was all about, I've made a million, I'm this, I pay people to be a sugar daddy, which I'm not sure if he, he knows what, what a sugar, sugar daddy, daddy means. is. Yeah. But I think what Dexter's doing is that he's trying to find himself. So he aligns with Sally, because at first he wanted to confront Sally. He realised Sally's quite powerful, so I align myself with her. He hasn't aligned himself with any men. And Particularly when he said to Michael, if anyone crosses me, I could destroy them and kill them. He, he was just... He's, well, well, so he's I, all talk, he's all talk. He's all talk and, and all red trousers. <laughs> now, there's already been so much conflict in the house. Where has all the love gone? Well, there is some love, and that's courtesy of that cheeky little scamp, Sam. We bond, yeah, we just generally. Bonded, yeah. You're like my cheese, my macaroni. <laughs> Sausage and mash. You know, you be my sausage, I'll be your mash. Ooh, my <laughs> flip to my flop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you got a bond with someone, haven't you? Mm. Jackie's 60 next year. No, no, yeah. That's what? Crazy. Goodness. So I was about to pull a secure. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> No, you were about to pull a 59 year old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make a round to the cheese. I'm in. <laughs> Sorry, that was disgusting. Jemima there, who's 41 in dog years. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, what is that? Uh, yeah, I think at this point, oh, we need to remind you, you are one male yeah. sister. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. We, so nice. we have history, we Michelle. Went, know, we what, is Sam, what is Sam playing at? I am. I think Sam is um, enjoying the attention mm. that he's getting from yeah, the females. Yeah. Let's say, I, and I do think that um, Jemima is acting in a way that I think most women would in her situation. She's getting um, attention from a younger, um, attractive male. Yeah. She's single. She's mm. horny, and he's very horny, and they're just enjoying each other's company. But I think that if you wanted to, to blame someone for getting themselves in that situation, I would put it, the onus on Sam, not not on Jemima. Right, yep. mm. Well, I don't know about you lot, but I can't wait to see what the housemates are going to do next. Join us after the break when we'll have loads more Big Brother goodies to get your teeth into, including my exclusive interview with the people's puppet himself, Michael. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Psych, the most culturally significant and intellectually stimulating TV spin-off show ever made. Well, OK, we might not be there just yet, but you've got to aim high, haven't you, Ian? You've, you've got, got, to got to aim, aim high. high. We aimed high. He wasn't here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> we are in the phone room, which is very, very exciting. And seeing as Big Brother's gone all eco-friendly this year, we thought we'd do a bit of recycling ourselves mm. by getting some of our rubbish ex-housemates on the phone. You're so rude tonight. Behave yourself. Sorry. Right. We've got loads of questions about what it's like living in the Big Brother house for the first 48 hours. First up is Lydia. Lydia. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, Lydia. Hi. Ian, I, I heard that. What? No, it was. It comes, <laughs> it comes through funny on the phone. Lydia, what is it like being in the house for the first 48 hours? Oh, it's, it's you know what, it's very, very intense. Um, it's, it's kind of one of these things, as soon as, you know, the word nomination is mentioned, you know, it all kicks in. Everyone goes into, like, game mode and, you know, it's kind of do or die. It must be very life. surreal. It must be very surreal being in there and thinking, Jesus, I'm in the Big Brother house. Yeah, it, you know what? It's so different watching it to actually being in there. I think everyone that's been yeah, in there yeah, would yeah, say the obviously. same thing. <laughs> and I think you, you, I think you have this 
um, you kind of think to yourself, oh, I'll be like this and I'll, I'll be the perfect person. And you have this thing that, you know, you're going to show all your best attributes. And actually, and when you, you get in there, it's very hard because <laughs> it's you've never been in you a failed. situation Lydia. like that. You failed, Lydia. You Lydia. 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 We've got to move on. Nice to talk to you. Take care. Thank we'll speak you. to you Bye again soon. Uh, next up, we've got Caroline from Big Brother 2012. Uh, there are so many uh, big characters in the house. Is it difficult identifying game players, Caroline? Hi. Um, well, initially... Like, obviously, everyone's just going to be really nice unless they're, like, really socially challenged or just fundamentally stupid. Yeah. So, like, obviously, everyone's just going to be really sweet and, like, really self-sacrificial and everything. So, in, within the first 24, 40, 48 hours, it's impossible to, like, detect games, like, definitely. Well, was you a game player? Um, well, within the first month, I managed to hold my tongue. And no, then you, you of, didn't. The feeling yeah, straight did away you were playing games. <laughs> I was not playing games, but I was pretty tactless the majority yeah, of the yeah. time and made pretty unfortunate comments. Okay, Karen, we've, got to, we've got to move on. I'd love to talk to you. We've got to move on because I'm really Ciao. keen to speak to Alex, who's next on the line. Hi, Alex! Hi, Alex! Oh, it's a different Hello. Alex. Alex, when... No, I'm joking. I'm teasing. It's nice to talk to you. When you were on Big Brother, did you notice cliques forming on the first night? Do you mean cliques? No, cliques. no, I mean cliques. cliques. Listen, cliques is the right word. Cliques is the wrong word. It's cliques. <laughs> Did you as notice it, Well, as soon as I went in, I thought I was going to die. And all the what? girls straight away were, like, like literally in each other's arses and, like, I saying how episode. genuine everybody <laughs> was and how real you are. And it's, it's, it's just lies. It's absolute lies. So, basically, the best thing is what i do, and This is why I was the last girl standing. Get out of the bottom. you take a massive, massive step back and just watch them all fall one by one, mm. you're guaranteed to make it to the final. Alex, well, thank well, you for thank that. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Uh, but I've always wondered how Tom Cops, with all of those cameras, pointing at um, him in the house. Uh, now, if only Tom was on the phone to answer my question. Oh, yeah. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. That was not a setup at all. Uh, how did you cope with all those cameras? I think the best thing they need to do is I think they just need to get naked. It's the easiest way to lose their inhibitions, and yeah. half of them went in sort of semi-naked anyway. So it shouldn't be a problem. And then, you know, you bear him maybe warts and all, so... No, nipples, warts, let it all out. Nudity is the way. Yeah. Well, we've we got to be careful, because Gina is worried that she might get bubbles on her vagina. So, <laughs> she, she oh, is, God. so I can understand why she might want to keep her bubbles. That's a good name for her, actually, and, isn't and it? And <laughs> she uses protection, I can't see why that would be an no. issue. No, oh, exactly. well, thanks, Tom. Are, are you thanks, naked Tom. now? Um, yes, I am, actually. Thank you very much. That's all we need to know. That's all we need. That's all. Thank you, Tom. Uh, all of our questions answered right there. Uh, we should get, um, we should get that lot back on next week. Uh, not all of them. No? Just Tom. Uh, now sit back and hold tight. I've got another house exclusive for you. Oh, I really just going to have a wank in here. <laughs> no. Tangent. Uh, <laughs> depend who comes in tonight. <laughs> no, I don't mean that, but, like, after the few months. No. Because that, that, that's happened, isn't it? It won't be worth it. No. So you've got to wait a few months, then... It's a few months, isn't out. it? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Please don't do it in the outside shower, anybody. I want to make it. If there was any place to do it, I don't think you'd do it out <laughs> yeah. there. Of all the places. <laughs> Um, let's just do work. Yeah. Yeah. After all it's definitely going to be the treehouse, though. If anyone's going to do a bit of self-gratification, it's going to be up there. <laughs> Supposedly, we're like not alone. Because then not, people yeah. will just do a little... <laughs> I am a nightmare. I'm going to do a... Can you imagine having sex with a girl after months of not wanking? You fucking blow up the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boosh, you really want me to walk along. Drama focused on Sally and Gina. It seems that a certain person has been able to duck the spotlight. Let's talk about the people's puppet, Michael. Uh, Mich <laughs> Indeed, you like him? <laughs> they, love, they love him. Uh, Michelle, what are your thoughts on the twist so far? I love the twist. I think it's great because each year everyone thinks that there's somebody in there, a plant or mm. somebody from the press yeah. to report back. So it's good that this year they're in. However, I do feel like he's totally egged it up a little bit and a little over-dramatised it. Mm. It's almost like he's in the West End, but it's not. It's just TV. He's no De Niro. He he's not a... even a Carl Howman, is he, really? He's not <laughs> the best actor in the world. But Big Brother uh, did try and create drama on the first night, Dr Funke, with the, the whole suitcase yeah, yeah. thing. Uh, how do you think the others are going to be treating him after the suitcase and after the nominations bomb. Well, first, after the suitcase, their reaction, they didn't really care, because I think it's they... Weak. 
It, there was weak, but because they're probably thinking, what is Big Brother going to do? So they're kind of hypervigilant about that. But then after the nominations, one thing we need to look out for was Sally. First of all, she wasn't really pleased with Michael when he did the thing with the suitcase. Yeah. But as soon as he re she realised he had the power to nominate, I like him. Oh, I like him. I I've like always him. liked him. He's my favourite postman in the so, house. Yeah, and she's doing that so she can align with someone who is powerful in the house. Certainly. And, um, Kate, mm. do you think the other housemates are concerned with Michael's head housemate status? Oh, very, very, very. Mm. Yeah, they, they are immediately, someone's given the power and all the others have to work out how to survive. Because that's what the whole house is about all the time, survival. So Michael's got this uh, power. And the others, you'll just see, they'll either creep round him, bite their tongue, yes. hold back. You know, they'll do anything now to stay in his good books, which is brilliant because it brings out people's falseness. Yeah. Well, our puppet has managed to deceive the housemates so far, but... LED! <laughs> That's my impression of Nikki. <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> 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 With Michael, just before he entered the house. Take a look at this. Patronising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you all right? Yes, I'm good. I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm oh, yeah. in the zone, yeah. Michael, I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous because you make me <laughs> nervous and then it'll be blown and the secret's done. No, I'm fine. It's all good. I'm very excited, actually. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. rooting for you. Yeah, please. I'm going to need the love because <laughs> they're I'm all really... going to hate me. You're a fan of Big Brother, right? Massive fan of Big Brother. I think you have to be a fan of Big Brother if you're going to do what I'm going to do because I would never go in as a housemate. But as an actor, what I've done is I've just watched all Big Brother stuff. Of course, I've researched the housemates as well. I know everything about what? them. You know them? I know them. Um, well, I don't don't know them, know yeah, them, but yeah, I know yeah. about them. I know what they love, I know what they hate, I know what winds them up. So oh, okay. we can we can wreak havoc. My game plan is, as Michael, that character, is to just be as nice and positive as I can, but he does want to win. I'm gonna say what housemates really want to say but never do. Do you know in the series oh. where you're saying, why don't you say what you think? I'm the guy who's gonna say what he thinks and destroy them, if that's what the audience want me to do. But I think we can cut them down to size. They need to earn the title as winner. Come on, do you know what I mean? That's my plan. So this is the last time I'm going to see you now. Don't I make me cry. Emotional. I'm going to cry. I'm so excited to see you in the house. I'm mm. going to be great. Thank you. You're going to be wicked. I think I'm going to need I it. hope no one <laughs> catches you out. They won't. They won't. I'll just kill them. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Uh, Kate, do you reckon Michael can keep his act up? Um, the character no. of... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, all together now. Uh, the character that's created with this backstory of a postman or the rest of it, he, he hasn't even gone in there with that. Um, he's getting away with it at the moment because everybody's on edge and working mm. things out. And we've got an, an emperor's new clothes situation, you know. They've been told he's a housemate and so they believe it. Um, this act that he's got, um, the way he's playing it... Um, it's not a terribly good acting job that he's doing, from my point of right. view. Could that be his downfall? Could that get well, him caught out? Well, I think the thing is, the side of him as an actor that likes mm. the attention and I'm on the telly and playing this thing and being important, having all, all of that poured into him, he's loving. So it's like Michael, the actor now, is just sitting there thinking, yeah, I'm in it. We, Michelle, <laughs> you and I both spotted something in that interview there when he said, I'm going to go in there and say all of the things That's that right. people yeah. want to say but don't no. say. No, he backs off straight It's away. not easy to do, is it? No, it's, it's got to be really, really hard. But as an actor, if that's what he's been hired to do and he's bottled it and bricked it, then he needs to get out and put someone else in. Yeah, but you, because you, at you, the end of the day, Mish, you've got we, we've got an actor in there to yeah. do his job and if he's not doing his job, then why we is he there? We want the money back! We want the money back! We want the money back! It's been so hard for him. Because yeah. you don't realise, when you're an actor, you go and do your eight hours a day and then you go home and sleep. He has to act for 24 hours a day, continuously for 13 weeks. It's hard, so there's no way for him to switch off, which is why we're seeing that he's not acting well, Do you but think are, we, are we saying that because we know he's an actor? If we didn't know, would we say that? Oh, no, is anyone I, I, suspicious? I, I, is anyone I, suspicious? We've lost control, AJ. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious type, I, I have to say, from looking at it, when they all went in on that first night, when he started on the thing, I thought, no, I, that just doesn't, nobody's like that. It just wasn't 100% believable. He was trying a bit too hard, and um, they should have got an undercover police person in. Because they do really well, don't they? Like, oh, right. Yeah. To do the, yes, that's yeah. a very good idea. 100%. Yeah. An undercover police person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll the undercover in. police people often end up sleeping with the people they're spying oh, on, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> 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 a little bit of politics there, right? <laughs> 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 what a 
are we going to see the housemates sucking up to him now? Okay, do you think that we're going to see them oh, yeah. now that he can, he can nominate mm. No, them? they are already. You yeah. gave a brilliant example of Sally, you know, and then, oh, I really like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and this is what's so fascinating about Big Brother, <laughs> because it is that social dynamic thing, mm. and people are so easily pulled this way and that mm. way. And you've got to remember, they all want to win, and so they're watching their back. It must Absolutely. be exhausting being in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael seems to be embracing his puppet role um, of the house. Check him out, stirring things up with Dexter. Don't hurt her. She's <laughs> Irish. <laughs> May I remind you, I'm trying to stay loyal. Yeah, and I'm yeah, I have a hall pass from my girlfriend, Bart. At the end of the day, I'm, it's a fresh, fledgling okay. relationship, okay. and I want to try and stay. I want to try and stay true, true to it. But obviously, if a deep connection and a bond develops between two people, yeah. then you never know what could happen. But I am, I am trying to stay, trying to stay loyal. To I was just making a so, joke, but okay. No, 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 that's no, really no, good no, no. <laughs> oh, Listen, Doctor Funky, we put. Uh, Michael in the house to yeah. mess up the housemates' heads. Is he at risk of messing himself up instead? I think he probably is. He's at getting risk. confused. Isn't I he? think he's getting confused by the roles and blurring his boundaries. But I think he's also trying to present himself. Because even if I looked at the VT that you had with him, it, there's really nothing that he's bringing to Big Brother. You know, if, if he's acting that, we well, want to see. Different... We've got Dexter to say, "I'm trying to stay I faithful." Know. What a yeah. club! He's trying. In. At least he's trying. He is trying. Hey, he is you know, trying. got to love a trier. <laughs> uh, well, I guess only time will tell how our puppet does. Um, still to come, a shed lord more of exclusive house action, which is standard. <laughs> where we bypass the pleasantries and get straight to the point because we're just real babes uh, so we've covered all the big personalities in the house uh, but what about the ones who promise big but are yet to deliver uh, Michelle when you get into the house um, and you're up against such big personalities how oppressing is it it really is it's really hard to get yourself across out there i mean i, I was in there with coolio and fern troy oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. malone and when you're in there with such huge characters in one way or another um you find yourself retracting and you can't get yourself out of, of, of a cage really and then you end up doing things that you wouldn't necessarily do or say mm, yeah. to get yourself out of that situation yeah it's really hard because you are yeah. quite loud because i noticed in the agreement we could not shut you up <laughs> <laughs> we could not get her to stop talking so for you to and Dr. Funke, if you are a person who's used to being life and soul of the party and then you go into the house, how's that gonna affect you? Well it depends if you have if you've got a master plan. And I think Sally had a master plan and I think she would be the life and soul of the party. But if you have a master plan, it doesn't go well. And I think that's what's happened to Callum. He is like, well, yeah. where do what do I do? And he's unsure of what to do and he does, he hasn't connected with anyone. So yeah, you know all talks off. Oh, Kate, the twins seem to have spent most of their time in their kitchen for obvious reasons. Do you think? <laughs> do you think they are feeling the pressure a bit? Yeah, I think definitely. Those two boys, are, they're together all the time. Obviously, they're twins. Um, all of their thinking is with each other. Mm. All their attention is on each other. And they're very young as well. So they're seeing all of this stuff going on. I also suspect that somebody has been completely and utterly doing everything for them. You know, really? looking after them, washing them, mm. cleaning them, feeding them, cooking for them. And, and they just did it, did it, did it. And, and they just, they just... I mean, they did say they tidied up in the house, though. Let's not forget about well, that. Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, but I, I just think they're so used to having all the attention on them yeah. at home or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they're twins. And, oh, look at the twins, look yeah. at the twins. And then they're babies. Oh, look at them, look at them. And, and now, of course, there's all these other people and it's just chaos. But I think yeah. they're but going they to adorable. do... I think they're going to be OK. Yeah, they're I great. I think they're going yeah. to be they OK. Are they are the twins, yeah. right? Well, uh, Dr. Dr. Funko, ladies' yes. man Callum, he said he's all this. He hasn't done anything yet, has he? Why, why is that? As I've said earlier, he hasn't had any room. Could you imagine being in a house, particularly you, Ian, with these powerful women? How would you come? <laughs> he's like, come oh. I would love every second of it. <laughs> I would get my credit card out and book another hour. That's what I would do. <laughs> 
<laughs> Michelle, Sophie seems like a lovely girl, just like yourself. Mm. Do you reckon you'd connect with someone like Yeah, her? she's seems like an absolute mm. sweetie, really sensitive, really bubbly and vibrant, but also she's saying it how it is as well, which I really yeah. like. And totally. Yeah. She's got a lovely blend. The most yeah. beautiful mm. one that went in. Yes. And, and the night, Naturally she had a gorgeous gorgeous dress on, she looked beautiful, she wasn't slagging it up like some of the others. She <laughs> looks she <laughs> looks stunning. Yeah, she is, she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Um Kay, what about mother and daughter, Jackie mm. and Charlie? How do you reckon they're gonna get on in the house? Um well it's quite fascinating because the mum in this situation is very glamorous. She's very vivacious. She's had uh, I believe a, a career previously in entertainment dancing and, yeah. and she's very beautiful so it's a bit like her daughter's grown up in the shadow of the mum so charlie's yeah kind of in the um of yeah so jackie and and they're fabulous and it's going to be interesting to see how that whole loyalty thing starts if they mm. do start bickering with each other or if they actually find sort of comfort and support in each other uh, getting through i suspect that mother and daughter team might have a fantastic game plan Really? To win, yeah, I, I, I was surprised to find out there's a gentleman in there called um, what's his name called Daily. Yes. I've seen yeah. nothing. <laughs> no, look at all no, the girls. Look at Michelle. He's, 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 he's not done anything. He's he not need to. He can just stand there and look pretty. You are and genuinely not do blushing. Look, he does not. He's just he's just a bit sexy. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Isn't he? Yeah. And, and he seems really nice, and I think, it? sexy I think and nice. he's going to be the inspiration mm. of the group. Mm. Yeah, he stands out, looks what's going on, and he's going to tie the group together. OK, yeah. and very quickly, Kate, who's going to um, find it most difficult in the house? Um, who's finding it most difficult? I think Callum, and I think there's Hen Hazel as well, because um, they're overwhelmed by yeah. the noise and the other personalities, and they haven't really brought any... They don't seem to have an inner strength. OK, then. Yeah. Weak. Again, lots of weak, weak. people. <laughs> uh, well, that's what this lot had to say, but let's see what the housemates are saying in the diary room. <laughs> Sally, this is not a conversation. Okay, sorry, sorry. Big Brother is reprimanding you for your language. You're definitely not a <coughs> Big Brother. I'm definitely a <coughs> saying you're a <coughs> It would be lovely if I had padding on these sides. Yeah, I was thinking that, but it's actually It's like a House of Lords chair, though. It's actually not bad. Is it padded? It's well padded. The diary is not what I imagined, is it? No, it's not. I thought it was like this tiny little room. I did too. It's, it's a gigantic it's chair it's and a camera <laughs> there. It's like a big room. Bigger than normal. <laughs> I haven't even given us a washing machine and I don't even understand how that roller thing works. Like something you've passed it for. Dexter is a bit of an, can I say, an oddball. He kind of was giving me the whole, I'm a sugar daddy, I've got money, I spend money in clubs and for me that kind of a person is a bit of, like an instant, you know. Stop talking about money, stop talking about what you spend. You know, just just be cool, be cool. Jesus, but like, so some dignity. It was it was quite awkward, but I mean, maybe they just like each other's attention. <laughs> Jesus, you just like the look of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just say <laughs> all the time. I think <laughs> very good word. Sally, my brother would suggest that you don't say the word. Big Brother knows that this is an unusual situation. It's your first night in the house. I've had a couple of drinks. Uh, Sam's, he's not the crazy. Sam's had a couple of drinks too. Sam's had a couple of drinks. But what happened if, uh, if, uh, if I charm you? Would you be able to uh, do something about it? I don't think he's really a flirt. I think he's just sort of putting yeah, on a bit I, of I an act. I think he's maybe a confident you front. Know? Yeah. 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 I think he's a confident front. He's being yeah. a bit cheeky, so he's a little bit like... Um, I think he's feeling his way. That's what he's doing. So yeah. I think he's trying he's to put on something. a little bit testing the waters. And I don't cheeky. actually really think he's... I think he's actually quite innocent. Yeah, yeah being flirtatious as right that. No, I, I do too. Jack, Sophie, Sally and, and Jemima. And then just now, having a chat with Hazel, she seems cool. Um, yeah, so, so far, they are my peeps. Oh, God, that sounds really cheesy. Yeah? Your suitcase is gone. <laughs> I love the way you said that. Your suitcase is gone. To what? No, no go. But when you actually take your top yeah, when you take your top, it feels a bit liberating, to be honest with you. Sorry, people, brother. You're not... I'm a... The diary room door is now open. Which camera are you looking at? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up there. I'm looking at that one, but so, I feel like... I can't okay. touch it. 
think they write this down. Probably. Troublemakers, but just opinionated. Here's today's news. At 10:47 this morning, Gina and Sally seem to be patching things up. She does my head in there. She's like, oh, hey, shut yeah. up! Just shut up! Who are you talking? You're an idiot. Who you're, you're an idiot. idiot. You just actually you're an haven't idiot. got one. You're my accent. stupid it's accent. Fake. <gasps> you're it's weird a fake though. Accent. Oh, whatever. No class. Oh, coming, from class coming, coming from you. Coming from you. The oh, fucking bucket of oh, fucking gosh. Tesco's. That's a joke. Oh. Good oh, morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> If this keeps up, Dan might actually need to put his riot gear on. At 3 or 5 this afternoon, the housemates were doing some guesswork in the bedroom. The secret jewel like? I think there's someone in here who's a mole. 100%. Yeah. But what would a mole do, though? What I, would a... I think it's... A mole normally yeah. would come Gina. Business, wouldn't Gina. I don't think she would... I don't think someone would really act yeah. like that on national TV. see what we're doing. I think Just Gina's the mole, uh, and that's, yeah, that was all fake. Do you think who's the mole? I think Gina could be the mole, and that could be fake. The whole of that oh, argument yeah, could have been fake. Oh, yeah, she knew too much about me. She went, she went straight away. I didn't even introduce... I didn't even say what I did as a job. And she was like, you're a glamour model. She took new mag a magazine I was in and stuff like this. And I was like... Me. And okay. she's not out. I think she's a mole. When she came in as well, she was like, I was going, I was meant to come in last night, but then I came in tonight yes. and said, Babe, she did. Gina said to us that she was, was, oh, I was meant to come in last night, but they changed me all of a sudden and now I'm in tonight. She always knew what I did. Oh, really? She's a fucking mole. Because oh. the thing is, you have to be very brave to come in here and stir shit from the very beginning. Oh, that's it's just odd. It's She's forward. a mole, it's I think. It's odd. I don't know. Because like, something. It's odd. To, um, she did oh, say that to I us. Do. She said she was supposed to come in one night and then she didn't come in. She went, she went, oh, they took it out and I'll come in, I'll come in on a second Oh, this night. is freaking me out. <laughs> oh, it sure looks like the people's puppet was pulling the strings there. And finally, at 1646, Wolfie walked in on an upsetting conversation. What's cracking? The hardest bit was when saying goodbye to him. You know, the way that oh, his, that's... he went... To get yeah. put down, they weighed him, and he lost half of his body weight. So I knew he was like lost weight because he was like no, puking up all the time. This, um, and then animal talk. when the it's woman, a bit sad. yeah. So then when the woman said, "Oh, you know about the procedure of like putting down an animal," oh, oh, no. So it's hard. I only just walked in and then I heard that conversation. I was just like, I wish, I, I wish I'd just stayed outside talking to the animals. Don't you hear me, babe. Do oh, no. Seriously, really, I just. I really don't want to be upset. I just don't like to think of animals dying. It just makes me upset. Whatever you do, don't buy Wolfie, Molly, and me for Christmas. Uh, that's the news from earlier today. So what's happening right now? Ian, are you in the camera runs? What you, what's I, going on? I am in the camera run. I think we may have just been spotted, but I can, look, there's um, Sally, and somehow she's managed to smuggle a pet in. She's, got, she's brought a camel's toe or something oh. in the... And we're talking about the mum over in the background. And lots of us have been trying to work out where we know her from. I know where it is. Do you remember that programme, The Pink Windmill, with Emu? She was the other one on that. She was Rod Hull on that, I think. I'm feeling very sorry for Dex Dexter's over there. And I'm starting to feel sorry for Dexter because he's all on his own. No one's spoken to him for the last three or four minutes that we've been loitering. I think he might be the first one to crack. There's a lot of pressure on him. Other things that have been happening today... Sam has been admiring Hazel's breasts. What a, oh, what a gentleman. Nice. He's been likening them to two bald blokes standing next to each other. Does that work with girls? Does that work? It doesn't, well, I, I, no one's tried it on me. I don't, I, I don't have those, those assets. <laughs> uh, the twins have been admiring... The twins have been admiring Jemima's bread. It's not a euphemism, actually her bread. And she's promised <laughs> to teach them how to make it tomorrow. So ah. that's something to... Shut the coat, shut the coat, shut the coat, shut the coat. We've just been busted by the housemates, the Big Brother housemates. I hope they didn't hear what I was saying. Uh, but lots of stuff been going on. Charlie has revealed to Daily that she used to be a rapper. So no fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. We get to hear a little bit of that. I can't wait. Uh, and uh, Sophie and Wolfie have screamed after finding a giant spider. Wolfie says she doesn't talk to spiders like she does to birds. Yeah, because that's not mental, is it? Oh, <laughs> but, uh, it <laughs> what? what a naughty today! Do you talk to birds, then, AJ? <laughs> 
No, of course you don't, because you're, you're sane. She's bonkers. But to be honest, they all look like they're having a marvellous time in there, and I think it's going to be one of the best Big Brother series ever. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ian. Thank you very much. And now, from one Ian, Ian, to another Ian. A better Ian, a better I think Ian. you'll find. Uh, the Digi B, Ian. The, Talk to me. me. OK, well, the big news is, in tomorrow's bit on the side, which, remember, is at 1.10 on Channel 5, yeah. it's Ryland's Super Size Sunday. Well, of course it is! Our People's Puppet Michael will be coming out of the house and be giving killer questions to ask to the housemates once he gets in. Amazing! Yeah. And Have so, we got some? In the bag? Well, we, yeah, Big Brother selected his favourites from all those who, that were submitted, so thanks to everyone who did those. But we've got some runners-up here, ones that didn't make it. Really? Um, Adam Adds wanted him to ask Wolfie, does she call herself that because she's very hairy? I've seen her shower. Um, oh, yeah. And fair enough, she had some shorts on. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Fair what? Um, she... <laughs> Stop it, Ian. You're raising that, Ian. Yeah, so um, move on. No, but she had some shorts on. Yeah. But she looked like she had lovely smooth skin. Oh, yeah. You know, she doesn't look like she shaves her arms or her stomach or her chest or anything. So she looks quite... Yeah. Quite hairless. So, no, Adam adds. That's why, yeah. that's why that no, one didn't get in. No, is the answer to that. Uh, meanwhile, Jodie McMillan thought we should ask, do you think there's a mole in the house? As a kind of double bluff type thing. Oh. But I think that Michael had that covered earlier. We saw exactly. in the news clip. He did really well there. He did. Um, Lorna, Lorna Van Baar says that he should suggest to Jemima that they have a fake relationship <laughs> just to see how she reacts. Trying to really? trick Jemima out. Oh, OK. Just how to do see... you think Jemima would react just out of interest? I don't know. I think she might have caught him on and and sort of not gone for it. So off. that's probably why that question didn't get through. But um, make sure that you watch tomorrow to see the ones that do get through. Of course. Um, meanwhile, I think we've got time for a couple of more. Of course we have. Of course um, we have. Tommy Hill wanted to know: uh, Does God exist? The actual Tommy Hill. Is there an actual <laughs> Tommy Hill? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, there must be, because he tweeted this. There must this. be. I mean, but he I think, exists. Does God, does, yeah, he exists, but does God exist? I mean, you know, I think it's, that's a, a, bit it's deep. a little deep. It's, it's a, a bit deep, deep for job. Big Brother. We yeah. kind of like to keep it a bit more light, right. light-hearted than that. Exactly. Uh, and Rose Evans had a really harsh one for the housemates. This is for the housemates. She said, Have you ever considered developing a talent for fame rather than just using your overrated personality for notoriety? Well, I hope that wasn't directed at me. No, no, I think, I think you're all right. It's for the housemates. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much. Do no we um, have any... Can, can you talk more digi to me? Digi news. Well, a lot of people aren't aware that whenever Big Brother's on TV, you can watch it online. Really? If, you go, if you're in I the mean, UK... I mean, I didn't even know that. No, and you, you work it. <laughs> and uh, I'm working it. Yeah. If you're in the UK, you can go to channel5.com slash bigbrother and watch live from the house, Gosh, bit on the side, and the main show, <laughs> all live, as you go, simulcast. It's really exciting. Do you monitor? Uh, do you monitor all of the abuse that uh, that I get sent? Is that you? you? <laughs> yes. Is that you that monitors that? It's usually me that sends it. I think you're fine. We, Ian and I have an online relationship <laughs> with, that involved us having a very bitter war online, but we're friends now, aren't we? Oh yeah. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should feel left out. Ian, do you have any more news? No, that can I don't. The house? Oh him. You. Oh him. Sorry, I get confused. With Hang Ian. on. Switch. <laughs> Ian. Who's, yeah, basically. Ian Lee. <laughs> Talk to me. Okay, they're all in the house. They're all uh, kind of. I, I feel so sorry for Dexter because Dexter was the oh, whole time I was. No, him. I do. The whole time I was there, he was on his own. He was sat on the bike. Everyone was kind of chatting and kind of bonding and having a good time. And he was just sat there. And he's very slight. He's a tiny man. He's very slight. And I just felt. I, I think he's quite insecure. I think he's yeah, going to crack. I think because he had that argument on the first night that sort of set him back a little bit. Yeah. And he's, he's sort of laying back and seeing what else develops. And obviously, it all kicked off last night. There, and he was, was, on the outside there was a girl in there I didn't recognise <laughs> as well. Yeah. No. There was, have we smuggled another girl in there? No, we have there wasn't not. the Irish lady. It wasn't the mum. Yeah. It wasn't Sally. There was another lady in there. Who I'd Charlie. Know. Maybe. The mother's daughter. It could have been. The I don't brunette. It takes me a month to, to learn their names. when some of them, their faces. When some of them uh, have gone. But um, the, it's funny, I always get excited going into the camera run, but a little bit nervous. Do you reckon the Jeannie well. and Sally situation has settled down? Sorry to cut you off. No, listen, I, I, I don't get, care if you cut me off or not. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I think it has calmed down a bit, but that's going to bubble up again at some point. Oh, you mark yeah. my words, young man. Check out on the <laughs> website, we'll keep you all to date.
Amazing. Well, that's all from tonight. So thank you. Tune Listen. in tomorrow at 10 past one. And Rylan will be starting the party with his super-sized celebrity Sunday with special guests, Bo Deep, who actually thinks this, and Claire from Steps. Plus, he'll be having an exclusive chat with people's puppet, Michael, which is amazing. Good night. And thank you.